Welcome student. Let's learn algebra. Algebra that plays very important part in our daily life. Algebra is a branch of mathematics that uses mathematical statements to describe relationship between things that vary over time. These variables include things like the relationship between supply of an object and its price and many other things. So let's start with the topic. Today we will gonna learn the most important topic of algebra that is function. Function means a rule that assign a single output to each input. That means whenever we have a different input we will get a different output. Let's understand functions with the help of an example. Now here the table given in the picture shows the names of the persons and their respective ages. A function machine is showing the relation between names and ages. We are putting the name as an input and getting age as an output. We put the name of Mark in the machine and get the output by his age that is 25. In the same manner if we put the name of Rosie we will get the output as 23. That means with the every different input we get different output. Now let's study different cases. Now in the first case wherein we have input as names and output as ages. Now just see an example. We are putting in the name as mark and we are getting the single output as 25 that is age. When we are putting in Rosie we are getting an output 23. When we are putting in Lisa we are getting an output of 22. When we are putting in Justin we are getting the output as 23 and for Roger we are getting 21. Here we understand that for each single input we have a single output. Now see in the case 2 when we change the input from name to age by putting in input as 25 age we are getting an output that is mark but for 23 we are getting two output which does not satisfy the condition for function so that means this is not a function. Let's see an example to understand function better. Over here we have function y equal to negative 9 plus 6x. Let's find the different value of function y by putting the different value of x. Now when we put in the value of x as 1 we get y as negative 3. When we put in the value of x as 2 we get the value of y as 3. When we put in 3 as a value of x, we get the value of y as 9. In the same way, if we put in the value of x as negative 2, we get the value of y as negative 21. You can see, for every different value of x, we have different value of y. So, it is a function. Now let's see an example of non-function. Over here we have function f of x equals to square root of x plus 4. Now we understand square root of a number gives us two values. One would be in positive and one would be in negative. By putting in the value of x as 2 we are getting square root of 6 and that too one in positive and one in negative. We understand that in functions we get single output for a single input but over here for a single input we are getting two output. That means this is not a function. Let's learn how to graph a function. Over here we have function f of x that too even we can write as y equal to x plus 3. By putting in the different value of x we get y. 
Now by putting in the value of x as 1, we are getting y as 4. By putting in the value of x as 2, we are getting y as 5. By putting in the value of x as 3, we are getting the value of y as 6. And when we are putting in the value of x as 4, we are getting the value of y as 7. Now these different values we need to plot on a graph as shown in the picture. As we see that it has been drawn on the graph, we just need to connect those points and we will get to know how to graph a function. Let's learn vertical line test. This is very useful method to check whether the given expression is a function or not. Plot the curve for the given function to our vertical line anywhere intersecting the curve. If it hits that curve only once, then it is a function. But if it hits the curve more than once, then it is not a function. Let's see an example of a vertical line test. Now as you see two graphs in the picture, in the above graph you see the vertical line cutting the curve at one point. And in the second graph you see the vertical line is cutting the curve at two points. As we studied earlier, that if the vertical line hits the curve only once, then it is a function, but if hits the curve more than once, then it is not a function. So as we see in the first graph that the vertical line is cutting the curve at just one point, that means this is a function. And the second graph, because the vertical line is cutting the curve at two points, this is not a function. So that brings us to the end of the session. Have a nice day. Goodbye.